And so, YouTube Stories is these short videos we can only upload and view on YouTube phone app. And on this impossibly stupid tutorial, I will show you how you can publish on YouTube Stories from your desktop. But obviously you will need a phone too! Oh, and by the way, these stories only last 7 days and then get erased, but they get lots of views! Actually more than normal videos, so it is a good way to engage and I'm planning to start spamming them daily! Ok, let's get start! So, the first thing you want to do, is to go on your video editor and make a new vertical sequence! Here I'm gonna do a 9 to 16 aspect ratio, but remember iPhones use a 9 to 19.5, so your video will have black lines on the edges! Also it is perhaps better to decrease resolution to logical rather physical screen sizes, although I guess YouTube will handle that for you! So we're done from here, and I already have prepared a clip specially for this tutorial! Let's play the half of it, shall we? Now, this is a story all about how my gnome got flipped turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute just sit right there, I'll tell you how gnome became an elementary pair! And now my stupidity was confirmed! There is one more thing to pay attention, and that is the export! I'm not sure how exactly works because I only have uploaded a single story, but I noticed that Android app can't deal with every encoder, but certainly MPEG4 will work! So I will go with this for now! After the export is complete, and assuming we already have connected our phone to PC, we should copy our video to the phone memory! Gonna copy under the camera folder! Ah! And what nice thumbnails from GNOME files! You had one chance to see me, and you just lost it! Ha! Next I'm gonna open screen copy! although in reality is easier to upload the video directly from the device. Also notice you need at least Android version 5 for that. Ok, so next you need to open YouTube app. Click on plus icon. And you want the add story option. I think you may need to have at least 1000 subs on your channel or something. And anyway, that feature may not be available for everyone. So, next open camera gallery, and select your video. On the right we have a bar with various stuff, that I won't explain, because I don't even know what they do! But one thing I do know is a sticker! So I'm gonna try to add one! But it isn't so convenient with the mouse really, plus there is some lag on screen copy! More than developers are saying! Ok, that is kinda embarrassing now! But eventually I will manage, I always do! Yeah, right! Actually I'm just gonna tap post and give an end to this failed tutorial! And it is more failed than you think, because YouTube only uploaded the half of the video, and I don't even have idea why! So here's all of it, and also very failed! Now, this is a story all about how my gnome got flipped turned upside down, and I'd like to take a minute just sit right there, I'll tell you how gnome became an elementary pair! In West Raleigh, born and raised, on the Red Hat offices it was developed most of the days. GTK, clutter out, G-Lib and all cool, and everyone was contributing after the school. When a couple of designers, who were up to no good, started copying elementary in my neighborhood, I got in one little fight, and Chino got scared, she said, You're moving with your auntie and uncle in plasma show. 